Hello, it's now day four on my uh, Ridgeway walk. It's now eight o'clock, the, uh, the 17th of uh, September. I've just um, just about leaving the campsite now. I camped up in that field there. There's other fields around. Got the water and the facilities here. Toilet block is just there, and that's where you ring for reception. And I'll just walk you out here a bit further. This is only just a little bit off the um, the ridgeway, the trail itself, so it's quite a good spot for a campsite. But for uh, anybody that's not planning to stay here but passing through. just point out that there is a water point right here We've got a water tap right here and above it presumes it you can use toilets as well which is just up there but just down this drive here that's the main that's the main road there so uh, you can easily get to the water without going to, into the campsite itself <sighs> Right, I was hoping to show you more of the campsite yesterday, but uh, there were too many people about. Uh, yeah, very nice campsite. Um, all the facilities, I don't think there's a shop there, but all the facilities, you know, washroom, shower, toilets, all that sort of stuff. Uh, nice flat ground, <laughs> um, and all for £8 a night. Which, uh, if any of you have seen my day three of my um, Great Glen Way hike, the campsite I stayed in there at the end of day three. Oh, it's, a, it's a total difference in, in campsite. Um, yeah, it's eight pound, I think it's well worth it. Right, I'll just show you the road here. And from the road, it's just up to the right. That's one there, White Mark Farm campsite. It's just up here on the right somewhere. Oh, sorry, on the left. Back on the trail again. Right, I'll bring you back later. Right, now I've left the campsite. <laughs> it's easier to talk a bit more. Uh, yeah, the trail yesterday. Um, it's quite nice really to begin with it was relatively flat uh, any hills were very only very slight uh, quite easy really until you got really to Nuffield um, and that's where the, the hills got a little bit a little bit steeper you go straight up one and then straight down the other side it is quite tiring the last the last five miles were quite tiring uh, but up until then it was I felt fine uh, my foot still aches a bit um, yeah, just 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 along the top here, just along the top there. I'm not sure if I, I did have the um, the shoes here tied a little bit too tight. I'm not sure really because I have had this before with my um, old Solomon boots, um, where I ached ached all night. Had to take a painkiller the next morning, and then after the painkiller worn off, I, I didn't feel it at all. But today, this seems to be a bit more lingering. So, uh, and I had, it, had the pain yesterday as well. I don't think it's going to stop me uh, completing the trail at all, but uh, it's just something to bear in mind. Uh, yeah, uh, yesterday as well, uh, that was a 25 mile day, and that's the longest uh, longest day I've ever done so far. I've never hiked that. I think I hiked a 22 mile, was 23 mile maybe before, but that was 25, so that probably didn't help my foot much, but uh, up until Nuffield, uh, my foot felt a lot lot better but um yeah maybe it wasn't such a good idea uh, pushing on but anyway i'm hoping that today is going to be a roughly about a 20 mile day um see how things play out um there is a campsite i think it's uh wendover uh there's a campsite in wendover woods somewhere 
I mean, or I could just wild camp in, uh, in the woods somewhere. But there is a campsite up in Wendover Woods. It's a little way off the trail. Um, we'll see how when I get there. And that should then leave the last day um, to be more like a 10 mile day. Uh, but like I say, you know, see how I go. I've got 30 miles until the end of the trail. And I was planning to do a 20, then a 10, but that could easily change. Right, I'll bring you back later. Hello, it's uh, 20 past nine now. So I haven't been going long. Uh, just to let you know, <laughs> somebody's been a bit fly tip in there. But just along the way here, there is uh, more drinking water. And there's another sign just the other side of that gate saying drinking water. And I presume it's on the side of that house there. I'm not going to go up and have a look because I've got plenty of water, but uh, just what I pointed out. I seem to be pointing out all the drinking, uh, all the water, water taps along the way. <laughs> anyway, I hope the, uh, the information helps somebody. I think the weather today is still going to be sunny, uh, but it certainly is a bit more breezy, which is nice. It's the breeze, I mean, I know it's only, what's it, 20 past nine. I know it's only uh, early, but the breeze is quite, quite cool at the moment. It's probably going to heat up a bit later, but... Uh, right, I'm coming to a road crossing now. Yeah, over the road, over the other side. Right, time's now half past twelve. Uh, I've just tried to ring the campsite, but... Um, no luck, there's no answer. So I'll try again in about a I don't know, half hour, hour or so. Um, Cause I think I'm coming up to where so there might be some shops or something. So I'm, I really want to know whether I'll be staying at that campsite because if not, I need to make sure I'm stocked up with water for tonight. Uh, in the middle of a farmer's field again. Yeah, for the last uh, hour and a half, something like that, two hours, I've been walking through uh, Farmer's Field, so... Oh, right. I think I'm going to get into a bit more of a built-up area in a minute. Right, I'll try the uh, campsite again in a minute, and I'll get back to you later. <sighs> well, it's quarter to two now. Um, I've just climbed up on top of, I think it's called White Leaf Hill. Uh, that's the view I got at the moment. <sighs> yeah, I came through the gate there. And there's a sign over there, so I'll be going down that way. But yeah, up here on the hill. Sometimes at the, when there's a breeze where the breeze blows a bit, it's quite nice. But at the moment, oh, there's no breeze at all. Uh, yeah, I've let's carry on. I've um. I rang the campsite, got through in the end. Uh, yeah, they are open. That's all, all, all right now. Uh, I told them I'll be there between six and seven. I'm, I'm hoping I'll get there long before seven. <laughs> I'm more like six, I think, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so at least now I know I haven't got to um, hunt for any more water sources, more taps or anything. Uh, so I've got enough, well, I've got plenty um, to get me to there. So I haven't got to conserve water or anything. Uh, yeah, because back there, back along, I, I could have gone through, there's a bit of a town there. I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, but I could have gone through the town and, and uh, stocked up on some more water. But I think I've, I'm going to go through some more built up areas. So um, I was planning to get more water there if I needed to, but no longer need to. Right. Looks like another walk in the woods. Oh, yeah, and it's getting a lot more hilly now. <laughs> yeah, today and the second part of yesterday. Uh, is a lot more hilly. The first couple of days was relatively f relatively flat. There were hills, but they were quite quite gentle. But uh, now it's getting a lot more hilly. Uh, my foot uh, feels a lot better. Um, certainly not 100%, but it does feel a lot better. So I'm hoping that just by loosening the laces on my, uh, my shoes a bit uh, will help matters with that. But only time will tell. 
Right. Let's carry on. I'll bring you back later. Hello, it's just coming up to half past two. I've just left the pub there. The Ploughing Cadston, it's called. Um, I had no idea it was on the. It was so close here on the route. <clears throat> anyway, I've just been in there for a quick sandwich and a drink, and now back on the route again. That's held me up a little bit, but uh, <laughs> but it was well worth it. I've got to find the route now. Oh, a little bit of road. Is it here? No. no, I'm going to have to get my map out and have a look, a little look again. I think it's maybe down the road a bit more. I'll bring it back later. My time's now quarter to four. I've just been walking through the trees for, seems like ages. Oh yeah, that pub back there as well does um, bed and breakfast. Uh, if anybody's uh, interested. All right. Oh, it's starting to, it seems like one side of the hill, there's no breeze at all, and the other side, is it got a nice cool breeze. Ugh. Right, let's carry on. Right, hello, I've just uh, come out from the woods here, and the path actually goes over there, I believe. Oh, just, just to the um, left of the uh, house there. But I'm leaving the trail now. I've got a little way to go up the road here. Um, up to Hill Farm Campsite, I think it's called. Uh, I don't know how many miles, it must be a couple of miles at least going up this way, so. Oh well, best get going.